Hey everyone, welcome to another mail day video. Today we have one of the most expensive mail days I think I've shot to date. There's a sneak peek. I don't want to fan them out too much because I want to reduce the amount of scratches I put into them. But yeah, let's start with our mail day video. So if you're new to this channel, or you've never seen a previous mail day video, um, yeah, I have mail days and I enjoy sharing them with you. And today's mail day is not teamer themed. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of my mail days so far have been either red cards, blue cards, or green cards. But today, nope. No, we're changing it up. We are changing it up. I really love this Liliana art. I think it's the best. And the fact that it's in extended format just goes with my general theme. Yes, it was a mortgage payment worth of cards. And my wife does not know. But there they are. I really think this is the best version of a Liliana to get, uh, in particular in foil. Let's take a nice close look at that. Very good foiling. Very, very good, good foiling. Not overbearing, not weak either. And the art really helps that out. And the transition here is that the dress, for example, the dress and the skin isn't foiled, not really. But the beads on the dress is foiled. There's just very nice transitions on this. Very, very nice transitions in the foiling process. I like that. A lot of times it's just bland. Yes, I got all four because you need a play set. So let me just very, very carefully fan these out. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, we're gonna have to sleeve those up very, very soon. And by soon, I mean directly after me shooting this video. Don't forget, I know a lot of you people, a lot of you, a lot of you people, a lot of you ask about the sleeves. KMC Hypermats are what I use for all my cards. The inner sleeve is a uh, KMC Perfect Fit Hard. So the hard versions are a bit thicker. And yeah, I mean, they're, they're a bit more, they're a bit stronger. I don't know how much actual rigidity they add to your cards, but it's something. Next up we have Creeping Tar Pit, the new Zendikar Rising Expedition version. I actually like this artwork a bit more than the original. Yes, whatever, swear at me, I don't care. It's just true. Let's take a look at it from far first. Very nice. Yeah, that does look like a creeping tar pit. I mean, whatever a creeping tar pit can be. Turns into a, an elemental creature. So yeah, that could be an elemental creature. Why not? Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm looking to brew with this card as well. Although it usually goes in a control shell and I try and avoid pure control brews, but it's going to happen. So it looks like in your hand. The foiling is decent on these, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy about this, they're pretty straight too. All right, let's go up to the more interesting ones. So, I mean, as you can see, it's, it is Halloween time. And you know what, I think black is pretty on theme for Halloween. So we have, I mean, you guys know, uh, I'm pretty sure I've shown you in previous videos, the full art judge foils for the islands, the forests, and the mountains. I am a fan of these when it comes to basic full arts. So, in that theme, I've kept uh, buying judge foils uh, for the basics, and now I'm adding swamp to the collection. Not necessarily crazy about this particular swamp art. But it, it just goes with the entire set, right? That's why you have to be consistent here. Again, if I'm going to be consistent with expeditions, I have to be consistent with the basics as well. So if we're going non-snow basics, there they are. 
So as you can tell from my recent deck techs, I've also been including black into the mix, whereas before I was purely on teamer colors or rural colors or Senate colors. Now I'm delving into black, so I'm looking at Sultai, Jund, all that fun stuff. So Vernon Catacombs has to enter the collection, obviously. Now remember, I always say, if I'm going to deck tech a video for you, I'm going to own it in paper, and now that I'm playing MTGO, it means I have to own it on MTGO as well. Because I feel like it adds authenticity to the deck techs that I am making uh, for you. The, 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 whether, the, whether the deck or the brew is of my own making, or you know something I've taken from someone else and then adjusted accordingly, or changed the theming a bit, whatever it is, I'm not just producing deck techs for content. I'm producing deck techs because I actually genuinely enjoy the deck, and if I don't, I'll tell you. And, you know, I want to share with you and I want to, you know, I ideally want you to play them as well. So part of that rule, whether you know it or not, is that if I'm deck teching you a video, every single card in that deck I own in paper and now in empty Joe as well. And when it's in paper, it's in foil because I am a foil person. And that is a burden, trust me. Ask my savings account how much of a burden owning foils is. That's that. Now, I think Pluto Delta is my top two favorite art, if not number one, for the expeditions. Everything on this card is awesome. Blue, there's purple in the foiling as well, and I've told you before how purple foiling is just amazing. I really like the art. I really like Polluted Delta. And I don't know why, but the foiling on this seems even more intense than the other expeditions. We'll see some others now. But I really like this art. The foiling is a bit too strong, but it's okay, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, these are just beautiful. There were some expeditions that were just misses, like wooded foothills and all that, but these were not misses at all. Not at all. So up next, Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, nothing creative about this art. I just noticed something here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Sorry. I don't know something. I mean, I haven't analyzed these too strong since I got them. But there we go. Overgrown Tomb. Nothing crazy about Overgrown Tomb. Just normal. Up next. Blood Crypt. Very, very cool. The art is uh, whatever. I found a lot of the exhibition art to be whatever. Like I found like, the, the art direction was like, make it look abstract. Like it's terrain, but it's not really... I don't know. I. I feel like a lot of these were misses because the uh, art direction was off. Alright, last but not least, my other top favorite exhibition art, Watery Grave. Mostly because of the color, the color choices. So there's blue, there's purple. And I think that just looks really good. I would say Misty Rainforest uh, would join Watery Grave and Polluted Delta in the top three. Yep. So that was my mail day. What do you think? I think this mail day was, uh, yeah, spicy in a, you know, bank account emptying kind of way. 
Just take a look at everything one more time. I know a lot of you enjoy these videos. If it's not your thing, that's okay. I have a foiled series video come out every Wednesday. I'm doing something that's foiled related usually. And yeah, stay tuned for more. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe, hit notification bell, follow me on Twitter. All that stuff is really simple to you, but for me, it means a lot. It helps me out. It lets me know that you're interested. It lets YouTube know that my content's interesting, most likely, hopefully. And yeah, I mean, I think overall, it helps grow the community. Thank, big thank you to my patrons as well. Thank you for your early support. If you're interested in becoming a patron, check the Patreon link in the description uh, down below. Thanks and have a good one.